Yo, yo, what's up, girl? Hey, uh, my name is, yeah, my name is Makoto. <clears throat> Let's see how it is. Hey, everybody, Lumen here. Welcome back to another video. Take me playing Dang and Ropa Trigger Happy Havoc. Honestly, I don't really know anything about this game. I, I looked at some screenshots and like a bit of like the basic information behind this game. And basically there's like a mystery going on. And I thought that was gonna be kind of interesting to kind of play through and piece together some of like the story and try to get the mystery unveiled. And based on like some of the screenshots, it looks kind of almost like you're gonna have to voice these characters, which I thought could be kind of fun and like something different for the channel. Hey everybody, Lemon here. Real quick before the video starts, I just wanna say if you guys are here from the Until Dawn series, part seven is still coming out in its way. I just figured because the last episode part six was pretty long, I wanna give you guys enough time to watch that. That. So in the meantime, we're gonna be playing this. Now part seven will probably take another maybe day or two by the time this video gets out. So just be patient and it'll be here. But in the meantime, hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll talk to you guys later. Alrighty, y'all. Peace. Without further ado, uh, I don't want to keep on talking. I just kind of just want to jump right into this. Uh, let's do our thing. Um, excuse me. What's happening? Hello. <laughs> the freak. What am I looking at? That looks. What is this bear got going? Dang, bear into some into some crit or not? <laughs> what the freak? Are we watching the same thing? What? Dude, <laughs> they got a whole freak. The game just started. What the? What is going? Oh heck no, this one is in fairy tale land. What is this music? What is happening? Oh yeah, that guy, I I think he's done, bro. What? Golly! This man is he freaking fractured his skull. Look at this little gremlin, bro. This man's a. I don't even know. Coin? I don't know. Get caught, that cut. What the freak? What was that intro? That was so random. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in the bustling urban area. It's like the school stand. At, it's like the school stand at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable, a government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. Hope Peak Academy, huh? That looks like a university, partner. No, no, okay. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope Speak a pretty fitting name. <laughs> Wait, what country is this based in? There's two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. What does that mean? You have to be really good at like cooking food. You said Gordon Ramsay can get in? Okay. No ordinary student can enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. Dang, bro. It's almost suck if you didn't get in. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students was me. Is that you? Right is that me? What, I'm, bro, it's summer, bro. This man's wearing a whole black outfit, bro. This dude's gonna burn. Have you guys been outside, bro? It's it's so hot, bro. The summer heat's coming Before in. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My <laughs> name's Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi. The, the voice actor sounds kind of, kind of familiar. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. I guess, I don't know. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going on for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff like I like I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or a mutant or whatever. I hope not. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song- What the freak is this music? What my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, it all just be whatever is most popular at that particular moment. You're kind of lame, Makoto. Even among the average, I'm completely average. What? So I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But, you know, if you have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. Then you're not average. Why are you saying you're average? I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary. But still, why are you so... 
Be confident, bro. Here I am standing in front of any in front of the anything but ordinary Hope Speak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me could survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I feel that way. What you have to understand is, well, let me tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Okay. Huh? Anonymous, keep it coming! Apparently my friend kinda knows them. I guess everything they say they are. Huh? Hope speak, Hope speak only invites those students who are truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So it's like a private school essentially. So to prepare, I looked up some of the some of those threads. And all I saw a talk was talk about ultimate students who were way beyond your average high schooler. I mean high school. For example, what the freak? For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop, pop group famous all across the country. Ugh, you know. <laughs> what the freak? There's also the ultimate baseball star. This guy, he looks like he's gonna rip off someone's ear. He was a cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. I would not want to pick a fight with this guy. The freak? And there's, a, there's the ultimate fashionista. Damn, she got a decorated freaking thing, bro. She's been on the cover of Tuzzin 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 She's been on the cover of tons of fashion mag magazines. She's what every high school high school girl wants to be. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker game. Why do they want that at this school? Yeah, we got the we got the ultimate uh, pop sensation. We got the ultimate uh, fashionista. Let's get the ultimate bike gang leader too. <laughs> you know, I don't know. What, they, they see something in this guy though. And in high school too? The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Oh, okay, so it's Japan, okay. Gangs everywhere love the guy. Um, well, I'm not gangs. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. How much even, how many was it, like 15 people? That's, that's the best the country has? No disrespect, I'm sorry. I feel like a tame little house cat who wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there was a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they just be average students like me? Without any talent or anything? Maybe, maybe they had, maybe the school had a change of heart, they are just like, eh, hmm. Throw my bone. That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How does such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to become to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at, at the acceptance letter they sent me and see why. Okay. Mr. Makoto, we recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected and we invite you to join us at the ultimate lucky as the ultimate lucky student. They spell it out. Plain as day, I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have just been better off declining their offer. Bro, you're gonna mess up your chances of having a better life? Come on, bro. But wait, after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success, yeah, yeah, Gar guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no, you know? That's, that's what I'm trying to do. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost. Like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my, he's just standing up there for like five minutes, just staring at the building but still i can't just stand here in front of the gate forever frozen in place murmuring to myself i looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand it said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m the meeting still isn't for a, a little while but i should probably just head in yeah yeah let's do this <laughs> i got all my determination and tried to act like i'd done this millions of times before that's it that's where it's at bro you gotta be confident and i took my first step toward the main hall Okay, this place is kind of empty, ain't it? This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess on the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says 7, 10 a.m. This man's a whole 50 minutes early. The meeting doesn't start for until eight o'clock, so there's a full 50, yeah, 50 minutes left. Makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I mean, why would they? I was so wound up, but I got here it's too early. Have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a bit. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having to look around, right? It helps me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope Speak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new high school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. What does that mean? <laughs> What the? the for what? It, but the instant I took the first step forward, my view became warped, 
twisted. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Uh, yep, he got drugged. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And then, the next moment... Gah. Everything went black. That was how it all began. That's how life as I knew it came to an end. What the... Huh? At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope Speak Academy wasn't because I had the ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. <laughs> Welcome to despair. Prologue. Let the free- Yo. Yes, yeah, sir. Save that. Okay. Okay. We're starting to cook. Uh, <laughs> Oh man, I swear I wasn't here. Oh, what? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk out in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? This is the classroom I've been here before, but he's just, he's just been daydreaming the whole time. He actually never actually got invited to the school. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Bruh. What the f- What the- Wait, I was- Okay, welcome to Hope Speak Academy. First of this was basic, basic controls. You can use the left stick to adjust your aim. If you aimed at a bud, you press X to button. And presto, you'll investigate the item. Use the directional like R1 to adjust your viewpoint. Okay. Why don't you look- Why don't you uh, try looking around the classroom? Will do. Oh, what the- Look at this like 3D effect they got. That's kind of cool. It reminds you of Paper Mario. What's this? That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's this on my desk? An orientation guide? It's it? some kind of cheap looking pamphlet and there's something written, handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. What the heck? Is this someone's idea of a joke? This will be your entire life. Notice it. Look at that big old freaking, is that coming from the ceiling? Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have these to keep weirdos from just wandering in. I suppose so. Yeah, what time is it, bro? Nine plus in. Jeez, I can't believe it's already eight o'clock. Dang, it was just after seven when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? I guess so. <laughs> what the f- Yo, are these state issued? What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where the window should be. But it looks like someone, some kind of metal has been bolted over it. Yeah, you think? Golly. We're in a zombie apocalypse game now? And if I were to knock on it... Oh. Yep, definitely metal. Thick too. Very solid. What are you writing a review on it? What's going on? Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? That's what I'm saying, bro. Oh, it put a snooze. Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is I got myself so wound up I passed it in the main hall and then someone carried me here? Why don't they take me to the nurse's office? If that's true, it must mean this is the classroom inside of Hope Speak Academy. Let's <laughs> make it an epiphany. Epiphany? But then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like it's a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There should be, there might be students, other students here now. You can leave the classroom by pressing circle. Okay. Let me, hold on, I'm not done. Is that a thing? The freak, it's a TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have TVs in here. Something feels off. I wonder what that is. I don't know. Look at the ceiling. It's like, like caved in. I guess we just leave the classroom. I don't know. I don't exit. There you go. Leave the area. Yes, sir. I'm trying to. What the frick? Where even are we? Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird too. You think, bro? We're in a freaking. I don't know. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Use the left stick to move to the hallway. Hold down circle to run. That's gonna. Oh, I said be a good. Oh, shoot, I didn't read what I said. Press triangle to uh, close the map. Okay. I think this was kind of small, ain't it? Whoa. The freak? I'm guessing most doors are gonna be closed, right? Room 1A, the door won't budge. Wait, where do we go? Hold on. What is this? Room 1B, the door's locked tight. Okay. I'm pretty sure all doors would be closed, right? What the freak is this Bowser's Kingdom thing right here? What is? What am I doing? What the freak is? 
Why is my control? The controls feel weird. I wonder where this red door leads. I'm starting to get, I'm starting to feel sick standing here. What? Look at the lighting in this place, bro. I would not caught, be caught dead in this school. Despair Hotel? Bro. Am I over here? Despair Hotel? I guess it's a place for people to stay overnight, but anyway, I need to get to that main. I think this place is bougie, bro. They got a hotel? Golly. But you know what they need to do is switch, switch these these lights, bro. Why is it purple in here? I'm not trying to be in this at work. Now it's green. What the? What does it say? AV room? Hey, uh, I, need a, I need a television. Baby room, it's locked. This map is kind of small, ain't it? At the school? Unless this is just one area. What, what happened? Why is this locked off? The school store, I guess it's not open. Or just put it like a, not, just put a closed sign up. Like, no need to be having that. What is this? I mean, hopefully you didn't have to look around. By the time I get to the main hall, back to the main hall, everyone else is already there. Eh, hey, oh my. Oh, hey, another new kid? Is, is this the cast? Oh my God. Golly, that person on the right is strong. They fight Wolverine, see that? Okay, whoa. Oh, somebody already said that. Whoa, hey, another kid. Ugh. What a freak is, what do they say? The ultimate fashionista, where's she at? Uh, is, I don't remember. Yo, yo, what's up, girl? Hey, uh, my name is, yeah, my name is Makoto. <clears throat> I see how it is. Huh? Then you guys are all. Dang, bro, I'm, this is, this is the entire, like, this is the entire campus, campus students. Yeah. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. Really? What are you? What the freak is in the back? The freaking Fallout Vault? Fortnite Vault? So Yo. Counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Yeah, it feels kind of small, right? Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who gathered up, who gathered around there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Aura? Bro, when did this game come out? What they, how they know about aura? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Um, how's it going? My name is Makoto Naigi. Sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened and then all of a sudden I was just asleep? Huh? Whoa, you too? Things just, wait, oh yeah, hold on. Things just get curiouser and curiouser. Mm -hmm. What was on our finger? You saw that? Hold on. So strange. I don't really on the side of doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it. Okay, this guy looks like he, look at his like angry bird's eyebrows. Got it. Just a moment. There's something else we must address. Listen to me. Makoto, your turning is, is unacceptable. Surely you're aware that the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report to you, and you must accept your due punishment. What? What is your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right. Yo, is that the fashionista? Ugh. Everyone, just calm down. Listen, why don't we all just go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The heck? Now's no time for friggin' introductions. <laughs> Maybe we should, oh, I, I, Maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't even know each other's names? Yeah. I mean, I suppose. That's a good point. Um... Excuse me. Is it getting hot here? Okay, it's fine. Okay, so let's get introductions out the way, then we can move on to whatever else. Sounds good? I'm still totally lost, but I think I, it's just... I, 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 I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just try and focus on getting to know each other for now. Yeah, for, I mean, it's fair. So I guess this is a good chance as I might get. I already looked everyone up on that Hope she had any thread online, but... I still don't really know what kind of people they are. They actually are. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to those five over there. Okay, aim at the students to talk. Okay, each conversation is important to the overall story, so to keep track of how they go. Can I just, uh, no, 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 I'm actually gonna end the video here, guys. Uh, if you guys want this to be a series on the channel, let me know by liking this video. But honestly, it's kind of cool. I liked it. I mean, it just started, so I don't know where this could really go. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys want to see this as a series on the channel, let me know by liking today's video. As always, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy. Stay tuned for the next video, and I'll catch you guys next one. Alrighty, y'all. Peace out.